What is going on, you wonderful thought-having people? As always, I'm Jake from Give It Thought, and let's just get right into this. And really quick, I'll give a spoiler warning for the first game because there's no way I can talk about this without spoiling it. So in this video, I wanted to talk about this theory that seems to be burning up the internet like a wildfire ever since the trailer's release. And I wanted to thank commenter mocats11 for turning me onto this theory. So in The Last of Us Part 2, some people seem to think Joel has passed away in some form or fashion. Is it just me or does the possibility of that just break your heart into teeny tiny pieces? But the proponents of this theory say that clues are hidden in the reveal trailer. And in this video, I wanted to take a look at some of those clues and try to determine the likelihood of this theory. So grab your antifungal cream and let's look at the first clue. So the most often cited clue for this theory is the way Joel seems to just float into the doorway. I mean, he's clearly walking, but it does look like he's entering this dimension through a gateway or something. You have to admit, it does look pretty ghostly. I'll slow it down and repeat it so you can see it more clearly. As you can see, he appears as a silhouette in the doorway, which is just another word for shadow, really. And if you listen to what song Ellie is singing, it kind of hints that because he is a shadow, he is dead. The song is called Through the Valley and the first words of the song are, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And I may be reaching here, but why would they choose that song and then make Joel appear as a shadow? It seems to me that the two connect in some way and it is Naughty Dog telling us that Joel is the shadow of death. We are in an age of rebirth in symbolic storytelling and The Last of Us was never a stranger to that. That isn't the last coincidence in the song lyrics either. A little later in the song, the lyrics read, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me through all the days of my life, and I will dwell on this earth forevermore. Joel, to Ellie at least, is a spirit of mercy. If you remember the events from the last game, Joel recklessly risks his life for Ellie and saves her from the fireflies after they try to rob her body of the fungal immunity which would have killed her in the process. And then, at the end, he lies to Ellie and tells her that the fireflies found other people who are immune to the fungal infection so they stopped looking to her for a cure. This is the ultimate form of mercy for Ellie. Not only did Joel risk his life for her, he lies to her at the risk of completely ruining their relationship in order for Ellie to not have the weight of that on her conscience. Therefore, Joel's act of mercy will likely result in thousands if not millions of mutations for other people. If that does not make Joel merciful and good to Ellie, I don't know what does. And since Ellie sings that goodness and mercy will follow me through all the days of my life, then that is implying that she is alone. In other words, Joel is not with her completely. And the final little detail about this reveal teaser that hints at Joel's death is what Joel says to Ellie in the trailer. He walks in, leans on the door, and asks her, You really gonna go through with this? The wording of that question is yet another hint that Ellie is alone. He said, You, and not we. Which implies that he will not be accompanying Ellie on her mission to kill every last one of them. We know why a certain group of people would want Joel dead. He did kill the Firefly's leader, so I'm sure there was some bad blood between the group and him. And we saw that painted stop sign at the beginning of the teaser, so I think it is safe to assume all the dead bodies in this house are Fireflies. Plus, he took away the possibility for a cure for humankind, so if word got out, that is sure to make some people angry. But all these clues point to the possibility that Joel is dead in part 2 of The Last of Us. We could get another teaser in 6 months that completely debunks all of this, so don't let the possibility of Joel's death get you down too much. All of this is just speculation, but I will say I'm leaning toward the idea the more I think about it. So what do you think about this theory? Is Joel really dead, or are we getting way ahead of ourselves in assuming anything about a game that is still in very early development? Tell me your thoughts on this down below. But I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you have to do. Hit that like button for me, and if you're new here, why not subscribe? I put out a new video every single day, and if you want to be caught up on all the latest The Last of Us Part 2 news, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And if you missed my last video about The Last of Us Part 2, I went over the story details we know so far about the game. So if you're interested in that, I urge you to go check that video out. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, give thought to everything.